Lou, don't do that. That's a bad goat. Bad goat. Bad goat. Yes. No. No, 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 no. We are in the hot part of summer and heat stress has affected our quail. I had to put one of them down yesterday. She was suffering and wasn't going to get any better. It wasn't the heat directly. Quail seem to be more aggressive with each other when they get stressed. She just had a really bad head wound and then some kind of a neck injury. So I really didn't have any choice. I just had to put her out of her misery. As proud as I am of how this quail hutch came out, my advice if you want to raise Coturnix quail is to just get those stacking cages with the slide out trays for the waste and maybe keep them in a garage if you can, someplace where extreme temperatures are mitigated. On hot days like this, the most important thing is to make sure all the animals have plenty of water. We've lost animals to the heat before. We've never lost an animal because it's been too cold. There are some things we can do when the temperatures really drop low. We should make sure the quail aren't frozen. <laughs> yeah, let's say they're out here in the front where it gets a little more wind. Yeah, we'll have to uh, do the water water, water run. Can you go down any further? Oh, go back out. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay, put go. Yeah, we'll have to chip that out to be able to get in there. Mostly, it is just the heat that we have to worry about. Let's take a quick look and see how our garden has been doing. Cabbages are doing great. By far, our most productive vegetable has been the green beans this year. We got a really late start with the garden, so our peas haven't been doing so well, but the green beans have been going gangbusters. It's a good thing we like these fresh green beans. We've been having them with all of our dinners lately. We do have some peas. These cucumbers are Wendy's favorite. She likes to just cut them up and have them with salt and pepper for breakfast or lunch. It's really pretty refreshing on hot days like this. I always enjoy seeing the abundance of our blueberry bush and I'm looking forward to blueberry pancakes.
it's not related to the heat, but we have had a problem with the birdhouses on the fence of our buck's pen. Blue, don't do that. That's a bad goat. Bad goat, bad goat. Yes, no, 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 no. If goats can reach something, they're going to want to scratch themselves on it. As Blue and some of the other goats have gotten larger, they've been able to reach those birdhouses. Most of our goats are Nigerian dwarf, so they're smaller goats. Blue's mom is indigo. Indigo's a Nubian goat, so with Blue being half Nubian, he's just growing into a much larger breed of goat. Our tan goats, the ones that used to be our bottle baby goats, are a mix of Nubian, Boar, and Kiko. So they have larger goat genetics too. The Love Shack was knocked completely off of its post. It's still intact, probably because it fell on the outside of their enclosure. I've made some custom mounting jigs to reposition these two birdhouses. The barn birdhouse is just going to be extended up higher Pretty simple. I've decided to attach the love shack to the roof of the buck shelter. So, so this jig is a little more complicated. I created the, uh, I cut this angle. You were just in the way. <laughs> I cut this angle to match the pitch of the roof. Yeah, that's what you do. That's what goats do. Bunch of bad goats. Yes, bad goats. You are in the way. You are in the way. Yes, I have to see what I'm doing.
Stryker. You're on my leg, Stryker. <laughs> Come on. That's pretty good. It's not too bad for a patch job. And, and I think I like where the love shack is even better than it was before. It is a hot one today. We're over 100 degrees. To help keep our rabbits cold, we're using the sprinkler. Our rabbits don't like to be sprayed directly, so we're just using the sprinkler on the driveway to cool it down and reduce a little of the, uh, the radiant heat that otherwise would affect the rabbits. We've also got the fan going on Squirrel Bunny here. Squirrel is Wendy's favorite rabbit, and she likes to make sure he's nice and cool on these kind of days. How are you doing, Squirrel Bunny? You staying cool? Yeah? We did move that fan around so the other rabbits could take advantage of it too. Interestingly, the cows have been hanging around closer to the forest, I imagine, to take advantage of the shade.
JJ2, I think you're my favorite cow. Yes. You can probably see those cows over there all huddled together under that one tree looking for some shade. It's a good day to find some shade if you can. <laughs>